Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to record today a video about a really useful app I've discovered recently and it's called Footpath. Now what Footpath does, it allows you basically to plan a hike or a run or a walk, uh, but you can do it in advance. You can plan it all out on a web user interface and then save that to your account. That'll then be synced down to your phone and you can embark upon your walk, turn on location services on your phone and you'll be able to actually follow along with the planned directions. Now that might sound maybe perhaps not so uh, groundbreaking, but it's actually something I've been having a lot of difficulty doing. So uh, before I show you the app, let me show you exactly why it's useful trying to do the same thing in Google Maps. Okay, so just gone here onto uh, Google Maps, as in the familiar Google, Google Maps that uh, most of us use day to day. Let's say I wanted to plan a walk from some point, uh, I don't know, let's just pick directions from here and I'm going to go to this point. So I'm going to go uh, directions to here. So what Google Maps will do if I set this to walking as my navigation method, it'll present me with, you know, a couple of options. This is the quickest way from A to B. It's a 16 minute walk and this is the slightly slower way from A to B. This is 18 minutes. This is a slightly slower way. Again, it's also 18 minutes. And what I can do is click on either of these routes and it'll change the routing, but that's not, it doesn't really tell, it doesn't really give me the option. Now, what I can do is I can send these options to my phone. So I can just copy, there's a couple of ways to do it. One of those is you can copy and paste the URL so I can copy this Google Maps. Sometimes what I'll do is put this as a calendar entry so that when I click on the map, it'll give me the routing. Another option is you can do uh, send directions to your phone. Um, and that'll also send the directions uh, to your phone directly. It'll give you a little notification. So that's one way. The problem with this is it hasn't really allowed me to choose the route. It's basically, so it's given me a few different options that'll work. But if I want to go all the way around the, into this part of the city, then loop back to our destination, then it doesn't give me the option. Many people, including me, assume that if we do a Google custom map that that will all change. So I go back into uh, Jerusalem and let's just choose another completely random part of the city to plot some kind of a walk in. Um, so this gives me a little more so I can just say something like, you know, my planned walk, create a, create a layer here. Uh, I can add a place marker here. Point one. You can add another place marker here, point two. So now we've got point one, point two, and I can add a place marker here. Let's call this one, oh, I was just coming up there, point three. Um, and then I can do add directions, change the transportation mode to walking. I'm gonna go from point one, and again at 1.3 as my destination. So it's given me again a route. I can sort of change things up a little bit by telling it to go around the place. Let's say, so that's my destination is now at B. I can actually pull out B further and let's, I can also add um, a destination C and put C here. Now I can actually keep doing this. So let's just kind of click again here, but it's a little bit of a unwieldy interface and I'm just going to click out of it now. So that's put my C as here. It wasn't really a great process for uh, creating a uh, creating a walk. It gave me options to uh, stick to the points, but it didn't really allow me to plan it out as I would like to. Okay, so this is footpath. This I think is the best option. I did try out a bunch of different walking apps and uh, running apps and all these different kind of apps and I really really like this one the best. So this is the premium version. Um, I think it's about 15 in my local currency, 15 shekels per month. Um, you can find out a lot of what it does just with the free uh, basic version of this but if you go for premium you're going to get those directions on your phone which is kind of for me was exactly what I wanted it for. Uh, so that's why I, I upgraded. Um, but you can get a sense of what it'll do on the freebie plan. So open street map is the mapping here. And if you click onto map settings, you can choose between different map overlays and different maps. So I've actually gone for non-standard one. I've gone for map box streets. The two basics are satellite imagery and map box outdoors. And you've got a bunch of different satellite Im imagery to choose from. You've got a uh, different, uh, for example, there's ordnance survey mapping if you're in the UK. And I went from map box streets for this particular uh, video. 
So now that I've got this, it is a little bit slow to load as you can kind of see a little bit as I'm dragging around here and it's kind of laggy in terms of loading. Uh, but I can do, let's say if I want to start the map, start my route here. So I'm starting on this point. Now, unlike all the other options, I can just kind of give it new places and it's not going to calculate a route really for me except if there's no um, alternative. So let's say I want to go here next. So it's gonna bring me up around here. And now let's go here. It's even identified that this was a, a this was a backtrack. Now we've walked for 864 meters. I want to keep going up to this point. Then I'm going to go to this point. Now we're at 1.5. So if I want to go all the way back, uh, then it's going to double that distance, obviously. So 1.83, it's estimated this will take me 21 minutes to complete. Uh, so I can do now. Th this is what I really like about this. You've got a few options here I don't need to try to retrace the route going back. I can do reverse route to the first point And that's going to put my uh, starting point up here. I'm going to here now I can click here and go uh, Out and back and this is going to give me that routing that's going out one two three and then all the way back and now you can see the distance counter is multiplied by two. It's now saying it's a 3.66 kilometer walk. That's gonna take me 43 minutes. Starting here, doing a little loop back, and then coming all the way back to where I started from. So uh, this is a walk, and now I can actually save this route and call it, uh, you know, random walk in Catamon, and click on save. And now I can go into my app, my footpath app. It'll have my live uh, GPS location, and then it'll uh, give me directions for walking. So this in my opinion, I think it's uh, For my particular needs and I actually got this for this YouTube channel for planning out different walks where I wanted to explore different areas But I wanted to plan exactly where I was going so that I didn't have Google Maps uh, directing me into some maybe not so safe area I could say ex I could identify exactly where I wanted to stay and put down my points on the map and have it follow that routing on the phone. So this to me was the best option. And I'll do another video soon of me using Footpath on the actual mobile side while I'm out in real life just to show you how that works too.